What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow8 here. So in today's video we have an update about the jailbreaks for iOS 10.x and iOS 11.x since there have been quite a lot of them lately in the jailbreak community and some of you are confused. We also have some great news about Goblin Jailbreak and we have a list of compatible tweaks that you can install on iOS 10.3.3 and lower and I'm going to also tackle with the iOS 11 uh, state where is the Cydia for it. So um, let's talk about it. I'm going to start at first with Meridian that has been updated. It's now available in public beta 4. Uh, back when I presented it, it was in beta 3. And uh, this one is a very, very promising jailbreak for iOS 10.x uh, up to 10.3.3. This means that iOS 10.0 is supported up to 10.3.3. That is a huge, huge um, version range and it will be able to replace Yalu and of course Saigon. So um, this is a very good jailbreak on paper, but it still has to be updated. It still lacks the substrate, which means that I do not recommend it for the moment for beginners. Now, um, uh, Sparky has posted this on Twitter just a couple hours ago. Quote, a little birdie told me certain someone posted Meridian Public Beta 4 on the website. It fixes Cydia, not showing up for some people. I uh, use the reinstall Cydia option for that. Uh, also added delete Cydia option to combat jailbreak detection. Now you should keep in mind that even though it installs Cydia, you will not be able to use it without the substrate. And um, it will pretty much spit out quite a lot of uh, errors in the um, you know yellow text format. So that's it. But you also have Goblin. Now speaking about Goblin, Goblin is also a work in progress jailbreak for iOS 10.3.x. This one has a uh, pretty much lower range of supported devices and iOS versions, but it works a little bit better for the moment. So what it supports, well, it supports the um, iPhone 5S up to iPhone 6S Plus. So no iPhone 7, no iPhone 8, no iPhone 7 Plus, 8 Plus or 10. And um, it supports iOS 10.3, 10.3.1, 10.3.2 up to 10.3.3, 64-bit. So you can go lower, you can't use this one to um, you know, replace Saigon or something like that. However, this one works and, you know, at least partially. And uh, the community has compiled a spreadsheet in here containing all the compatible tweaks and, of course, all the tweaks that are not working currently and all the tweaks that are working only partially using Goblin. So, um, yeah, we definitely uh, have to thank this guys in here for contributing to such file. And I did that for, I think, Helix back when Helix was released. Um, and it's a really, really good idea to make lists with compatible tweaks. I'm going to link the list in the description down below. And if you want to install a tweak and you want to make sure it's not going to bootloop your device over I don't know, even worse. Um, you can go ahead in here and see. For example, if you want to install 3D App Lock and you have Goblin Jailbreak on iOS 10.3.3, you can definitely say, mm, wait, it's not working. I'm not going to install it. But if you want to install, for example, uh, Advanced Settings 8, you can see that it has been tested, it works, and um, you can see the devices on which it has been tested and the list goes on. There are quite a lot of tweaks that have been tested and uh, some of them work, some of them don't. Those that do not work have to be updated, but um, yeah, it's a very good idea to keep monitoring them and see what's going on. For example, if you want to theme your device and you have Goblin Jailbreak, you can't do that currently because Anemone has not been updated yet. So as you can see, it's not working. And um, it will not work until the final release of Goblin. So you should keep that in mind. Now, uh, something else I wanted to talk about is the iOS 11.2.2. Yes, Apple has finally pushed the iOS 11.2.2. The update cycle goes on, even though we're now jailbroken, at least partially. And this one is a very, very interesting update that I recommend for everybody who is not into jailbreaking and who has updated already to iOS 11.2.1 or to iOS 11.2. Um, the reason I'm actually recommending this update is because it fixes one of the pretty much uh, worst security issues or security vulnerabilities that I have seen and that is the Spectre. You can read more about it on the internet about Spectre. I'm going to link something in the description down below. However, it's a very, very powerful one. So uh, yeah, 
Apple says in here that iOS 11.2.2 includes security improvements to Safari and WebKit to mitigate the effects of Spectre. And you can take out the CVEs and take a look and see what's going on. So uh, if you're not waiting for a jailbreak and if you're not on a lower version like iOS 11.1.2, 11.1, .1, 11.0.3, then 0.3.3 and so on, and you don't want a jailbreak in the future, you just want to keep your phone secure, I definitely recommend you to install this update. It fixes or at least it tries to mitigate one of the, uh, the biggest issues that have occurred lately. So that's that. Now we get back to the iOS 11 and what's the current situation of the jailbreak on iOS 11. Well, you still have the Liber iOS, which works on iOS 11.x.y, point point which means iOS 11 up to iOS 11.1.2. Now, it has not been updated and Cydia has still not been updated because I got a lot of questions lately. When will Cydia be updated? When will Sorek update the substrate and so on? And these are all legitimate questions. I know you're waiting for that, but Sorek is not updating it for the moment. He's probably working on it, but uh, there is absolutely no public information on whether he's going to do that now or he's going to do that, I don't know, next week or next month. So we do not know for the moment. What I recommend you to do is to not mess up with uh, Cydia fixes and so on. There are a lot of tutorials on the internet how to try to activate Cydia yourself, which is a very, very bad idea since um, the substrate doesn't work and it can't be simply activated. Uh, you have to update it and only Sorik can update the substrate to work on iOS 11. So um, I would definitely recommend you to wait for Sorik to update his stuff and of course then wait for Jonathan Levin to update uh, Liber iOS in order to provide a reliable Cydia that will not crash your phone, bootloop it and you know what not. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit tough for the iOS 11 devices, um, considering the fact that iOS 10.3.3 is already jailbroken, uh, more or less. But um, I definitely recommend you to stay where you are on a compatible version for the jailbreak. Do not update, believing Cydia will never be updated. It will. Uh, Sorik said he is in the process of working for it, but we do not get any any info about this. We do not get any status updates from Sorik. He's just working somehow in stealth mode. So please wait. Do not update your device. You will regret that. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on currently in the jailbreak community. I uh, really wanted to make a video in which to combine the information because um, there have been quite a lot of videos on jailbreak topics lately on this channel and some of you are a little bit confused. Yes, there are currently two jailbreaks for iOS 10.3.0 64-bit devices and one of them uh, can install a few tweaks which is quite good. Uh, the other one seems to be uh, a work in progress, it doesn't work for the moment, you can't install tweaks, but it will support more iOS versions which is quite good. That's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow, until the next time, peace out!